Hey guys, Mike with Ann. I'm here today. We're going to be doing an estimate video. So this is a house owned by a bank that we're going to do all the outside landscaping and we're going to go inside and look at all the trash and stuff inside. We're just giving them an estimate today and then maybe I'll call the guy with a quote and we'll see if we can get them on the schedule. Um, and so let's just go check it out. All right guys, so first, obviously, all the grass needs to be cut uh, up front. The edge is all overgrown. So if we came and did it, clean up this edge right here to make it really nice. The mailbox needs to be fixed a little bit. Um, maybe trim these bushes right here. But yeah, this is pretty much just needs to all be mowed down. All these sticks need to be picked up. And you can see just dandelions have just taken over this whole yard. Now we come towards the back, same thing. Just an overgrown yard. Maybe cut these small trees around this air conditioner. Oh, that's the same air conditioner I got at my house. Um, all this stuff needs to be cut. Look at that ant hill. That thing's crazy. As you can see, just a yard full of old trees. And, you know, my mower can't even mow over some of these trees. It just will mess up my blades. So I'll have to come through first and just cut. There's some leaves up on the roof. I might give them a price just to blow all that off. We do trees as well now. So I might tell them, well, this trees, you know, give them a separate price to cut that tree that might fall on the house any day. But yeah, just clean up this whole yard, mow everything, make it all look presentable. Back here, they got a deck that just has leaves and stuff on it. That all needs to be cleaned up. Pretty decent size yard overall though there's a fence panel that needs to go and some other stuff as you can see there's a lot of potential it just needs a complete makeover but that's all the outside now let's go inside and see what that looks like all right guys we are going inside and we'll see what we see so this door looks like it was broken into or something a couple of times you can see how that's all just beat up. That's where the trim would go. Not so pretty. Uh, here's some bags of trash. Looks like a nice refrigerator. I don't know if they want that to go or stay. That was potential spam. So this is all trash right here. Over here, we got a couch, a couple couches. Um, don't forget to leave a comment, guys, what you guys think, what was the situation. I mean, some of this stuff's interesting, but I don't really see anything of value. Floors look okay, though. If you look, it's pretty nice vinyl flooring. So yeah, nothing really crazy here's some guitars guitar hero guitars and some other stuff maybe some yeah nothing really too crazy some more little pictures there so yeah now let's go into the kitchen uh got to clean out all the cabinets that's something if you guys are ever in a house like this you need to check all the cabinets because sometimes the cabinets are full james what do you think <laughs> yeah i mean now you get into this this carpet looks absolutely shot over here i mean that hardwood floor over there that vinyl doesn't look too bad but here's the laundry room i'm gonna turn on my light so you guys can see but there's the laundry room and here oh they had a baby too that's sad hopefully they aren't living like this in their next place but yeah so we got all this trash in here not seeing too many bugs or anything either looks like some dog crap on the floor that's common believe it or not what do we got in here looks like the windows were open or something because leaves are all in here so maybe they left the window open or not sure i always wonder what the story is behind before we come to them nothing in there just some clothes Let's see what we got in here check this out guys oh this mirror's broke as you can see. If you haven't checked out my video where I break mirrors, uh, this guy got some bad luck for that. Um, but there's some more down there. I actually thought that was a hole in the ground, but it was a illusion. But the bathroom's completely messed up. Then in here is the bedroom. This dresser is completely trashed. This whole room is. There's some more dog crap right there, guys, if you didn't believe me. So yeah, this is just a complete, pretty much trash hole at this point. And you got a whole bathroom in here. So yeah, let's get out of here and then I'll talk about kind of what I'm gonna price this as. But yeah, don't forget to leave a comment. What do you guys think? Have you ever seen anything like this? And we're gonna be having a lot more videos as well. If they don't ask, I don't go. 
But yeah, let's get out of here, guys, so I can get out into the fresh air, and then we'll go over everything. All right, guys, so that house was kind of disgusting with the dog crap, and it just looked like I did not take care of it at all. So the inside, to clean all that stuff and to remove it all, I'm not gonna do the carpets. I didn't go into the attic, but I will ask the guy if he wants the carpets removed, but that'll be a totally different price. But to get all that stuff cleaned up and taken out of there, um, and do a broom sweep on the whole place. The total on that would be $1,645. So I have to send him over an estimate and then they have to approve it through the bank. So um, I'll let you know if we get that one, but then the outside of the house, the total for that was $1,370. We're gonna have to mow, cut a lot of that stuff. We're gonna have to haul away a lot of branches and there's trash in the yard as well. Then I was gonna do a real nice edge and everything. So total to pretty much do everything on the inside and everything on the outside would be $3,015. Let me know what you guys think, if that was too much, if it's not enough, what would you guys charge? And uh, let me know what you guys think about this house and this property overall in general. This is a sad situation where maybe they lost their house to the bank or something like that. Um, but these are the kind of situations we run into. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and we'll see you guys next time.